Welcome to Eco Ask Why. This is our special Thanksgiving episode, and I just want to say thank you for showing up. We're going to have some fun with this one, and I wanted to take some time on this episode to reflect back on how the show has been a blessing to me and hopefully has added value to you as a, as a listener as well. We've come a long way on Eco Ask Why, 230 plus episodes out here, and I am so thankful with the 129 guests. I'll say that again. 129 guests. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Gives us so much to be thankful for as we enter this time of year. And you know what? We should all just be have a little thankfulness in our heart, particularly around Thanksgiving. So I wanted to just highlight a couple areas of the show that has just blessed me and from the feedback from the listeners. We know it's blessed you as well. And if you haven't heard some of these episodes, highly encourage you to go back and check out some of these areas because they could have a really good impact on you and, and just bring some joy to your week. So go back for me personally. Okay, I'm, I'm a, again, not shy about this, three-time girl dad. And at the time of this recording, I got I got some big news coming up. I'll, I'll save that for the end of this episode. So three-time girl dad, we did two series on Eco Ask Why focusing on the women in industry. And one up, the first one was called Women in Engineering. And then we had the Women in Industry panels. Okay. So go back for the the original Women in Engineering series. That was episodes 23 through 33. So 10 action-packed episodes. So much fun working with those ladies. And for the women in industry, we did something a little bit different. If you missed it, you may want to go back and check this out. We had actual panel interviews. So the, we brought in a lot of some, some ladies from the, the previous as well as some new ladies. They came in and we talked about topics. I mean, it's a man's world, you know, all these different areas within the, the, that impacts women directly and had a ton of feedback. Talked about leadership for women. I tell you what, this was, this was an unbelievable series. So go check that out. So that would be episodes 195 through 199. So again, Girl Dad here, I really love to take the, the time on Eco Ask Why we can highlight our heroes, spe- specifically the women out there. Then we did our power series. That was a lot of fun. So there's a lot of info here in this power series. That was episode 60 through 64. And we unpacked a lot from art flash studies to coordination studies. I mean, we, <laughs> we covered a gamut. If you ever are in charge of a power system in an industrial facility, there's information in just those episodes. Again, episodes 60 through 64. Go check it out. And we'll make sure we have all these links in the show notes for, that will help you enhance your power structure. Okay. And understand that you have reliability in your power system and it doesn't just happen. You have to put in the work. But we give you a lot of tools and resources right in that series that are, that are incredible. Now, we hear all this talk about smart manufacturing, IIoT you know, big data, the cloud, how that's coming down to the plant floor, industrial networking. Guess what? We have 17 episodes, okay? 17 episodes on Eco Ask Why that talk about IT, OT, cybersecurity, Ethernet versus Profinet, and more. So this may not be your forte. You know, it hasn't been mine. I had to do a lot of preparation for for these conversations because I'm not a network engineer. But I've learned so much about it through the process of the podcast. And I think there will be a lot of value for you as well. So maybe you're that controls engineer or maybe you're just uh, an apprentice and you're just wanting to learn more. Hey, this is how you do it. Listen to the experts. We brought in the experts for you. So go back and check out some of those networking episodes because I'll tell you what, tons of wisdom, tons of insight, tons of information that is guaranteed to help you in your journey. Because we all need, we, we need those mentors, right? And you may just find your mentor in some of those conversations. Again, we have, we have a lot of episodes around automation. So if you're an auto, if, you, if automation is your thing and controls, <laughs> we got those as well, particularly when you talk, start thinking about integrators and uh, what that looks like and, and bringing this technology into your plant. It's all there. Then we have a lot of fun. I like to call it uh, the Wilborn, Wilborn family. We had all the, basically the entire family's been on. We've had Tim on, we've had Amber, her brother, 
Michael, well, when we have a guy, I think it's Tim's daughter. We're going to find a way to get her on the show. I mean, but the TW controls, what they're doing, again, if you're not subscribing to TW controls on YouTube, you're missing a big opportunity. They put a ton of great information out pretty much every day. It feels like it's every day, the amount of content they're pushing out. Their YouTube channel is where they, they, they really promote. So go check out the show notes for that. We'll have a link to Tim's YouTube, but go check out his episodes. If you want to check any of the Wilbur family. So go back to episode 94. 129, 138, 153, 193, and 207. Whew, got winded just going through that list, but I, seriously, it's so much fun working with Tim, Amber, the whole group out there, including Mary Bruce. I don't want to forget her. Had so much fun with them. I tell you what, those those conversations, they, they were just they're a lot of fun, but more importantly, they bring so much value because they're pertinent to where we're at today in industry. And Tim has changed the game. I mean, just, what they're doing at TW Controls, unbelievable. Then I want to encourage you to listen to episode 200. That was probably one of my favorite episodes ever of Eco Ask Why. I was able to talk with Mike Weinberg, who was a, uh, a, a New York Times bestselling author. Loved talking about sales and how we can simplify that. You know, and a lot of what, what I've tried to adopt in my sales career back when I was doing sales at Eco, Mike really just lays it out beautifully in his books. He has a wonderful book about sales management, simplified as well. But Mike was just, it was just a lot of fun. We we really connected and, and had just an engaging conversation. That was one of the, com- the episodes just from a, just a little peek behind the curtain here. I didn't have a ton of pre-scripted uh, questions. That just flowed. And that was a really fun conversation just to have, just to unpack. And I tell you what, I've gotten a lot of good feedback on that one. It was a lot of fun to work with him. Now, also for our Thanksgiving episode, I want to, to call out, what I call our, the manufacturing mafia. So it's a group on LinkedIn. I've been blessed to be part of the group. They're wonderful people. They're wonderful leaders. And they're really trying to change the game and bring awareness around manufacturing to everyone out there. And we've had a lot of the manufacturing mafia on Eco Ask Why. And it's just been an absolute blessing. So to start off with my, with my friend, Chris Lukey, he back on, on episode 99. If you're not following Manufacturing Happy Hour, you're missing it. I mean, I'm telling you, I, I listen to Manufacturing Happy Hour. I learned so much from Chris, from his guests. He has, he has reached out, and I've, I've gone to Chris in the past before, like, hey, man, I'd love to have so-and-so on the show. And Chris, he just makes it happen. you know. And so highly encourage you, again, check out Manufacturing Happy Hour. Happy Hour. Follow them on LinkedIn, all the wonderful things he's doing. But episode 99 was a lot of fun. Then I had Joe Sullivan on two episodes, 204 and 219. Love what Joe's doing at Gorilla 76. I mean, Joe, unbelievable. He has a really a great team out there and just had a lot of fun. I just remember working with Joe on his episode and talking about They Ask You Answer and that book. And he actually, his, he's, he is in the book as a reviewer. And he didn't realize that when we recorded together. So that was just a lot of fun just bringing that up. I uh, also want to bring up Megan Zumba, episode 159, Mavens of Manufacturing. My girls wear their Mavens and Manufacturing shirt literally all the time. How do I know? Because I help with the laundry a lot, and they're always in the laundry. And we even she even sent one for our youngest daughter, Lily, uh, a little onesie. So she wore that thing that she could wear. Just she she wore it out. It was it was awesome. So our girls always love rocking that. My wife still has her Maven shirt. I have my Maven shirt. So if you're not following with Megan and what she's doing, highly encourage you again. Check out the show notes. We'll have the links there for for you to connect with her. Atlee Donnelly, she joined us on episode 191. Love that conversation. Talking about apprenticeships. So go check that out. And then my, my friend, Jeff Long. You know, Jeff is just a, a, a really good friend. We, we developed a, a strong friendship working together. And episode 194 and 201, he unpacks his video, video value bombs, how he does that. And then obviously his hero conversation. And last but not least, you know, the, the essentially the leader of the manufacturing mafia, we have the manufacturing millennial, Jake Hall. He's been on the show for episode 126 and 150. Jake's just a great guy. Love his content. You know, big, massive followers, uh, uh, followers out there. Big influencer, making a big difference on LinkedIn day in and day out. His videos get so much engagement. And he's really, what I like about what Jake does is he's bringing the plant, the industrial plant, you know, the ones that I've walked around and seen personally, he's bringing that. To, to to this platform. So you maybe you've never been in a steel mill or a paper mill or a, a food and beverage plant. He's bringing it to you. 
he's shown you all the, the, the automation, the, the cool ways that technology has impacted the plant floor. So again, check out Jay Call. If you're not following, following him, you're missing an opportunity just to be. There's a lot of entertainment. There's also a lot of education from Jake. So I really encourage that. So I just wanted to highlight some of those those episodes. You know, I get it. Supply chain woes, they're, they're all real. They are real, everyone. And I, and, I, and I don't want to downplay that at all. It has impacted us at Eco. This has been a, a new normal for us to, to learn how to serve our customers the best way. However, I, I want to, to, to bring up this point. At the end of the day, when you think B2B, you know, we all, we hear this talk all the time, B2B. And most of the listeners out there, if you're listening to Eco, that's why you're most likely in, in the B2B space. I want to challenge you. Think of it as P2P because it's all about people. We need to remember that no matter what, it doesn't matter the sector that, of industry that you're in, business is all about helping and serving others. That's it. Now, you guys hear me talk about serving all the time, and some of you probably hear me talk about it so much, you're rolling your eyes. And that's okay. I'm going to keep saying it because I'm going to say it over and over and over till it sets in. Because if we have that mindset in life, and then we take that to business, all the blessings will flow. And we're in a time of Thanksgiving. I get it. This is a, this is a thankful time of year. We're extra mindful. We're extra cognizant of, of being thankful for what's around us. Shouldn't we be like that all the time? So remember, if you're B2B, that's great. So am I. I'm in, I've been in B2B for t- over 20 years. At the end of the day, though, it's still people to people. Okay, so just, just remember that. And so, you know, personally, uh, for me, since the show began, there's been a lot of things that has happened. That You know, we started the show. <laughs> and then basically two weeks after we record our first episode, COVID happened. But you know what? I'm thankful. because we were able to to be able to bring the studio to to my home and we never missed a beat 230 plus episodes in and we're still rocking and rolling so i'm thankful for that I, i'm thankful for my best friend adam sheets he rec- he hel- he helps me with the podcast we've we've formed a friendship a bond during the early days of eco asked why he literally sat at, at my at my feet right here next in the studio working the soundboard while we were recording, we were learning together. So he would come over and spend hours upon hours and we would, we would have lunch together and break bread. And just, we formed a friendship and a bond that I, I can't put words around. I really can't. And I hope you have that type of friendship at work and in your career. Because again, it's all about people and the, the special relationship with Adam and his wife and, and my wife and our families getting together. We, we, we have grown so far together, and I'm excited to see where we go in the future. But, you know, I, I, I just wanted to call him out. You know, again, we've had a daughter. You know, we did, we, we've gone through some rough times. We lost a daughter, but then we had a daughter, and so she joined us. I'm so thankful for her. And I, I mentioned it earlier in the show. I was giving you a little teaser about me being a girl dad, but guess what? I'm not going to be just a girl dad anymore. That's right. We're welcoming a son. By the time this releases, prayerfully he will be here uh i will get an update out for eco sy listeners once he gets here safely but yeah judah levi is expected to to arrive in november we are uh, on pins and needles the first male grandson from my parents we, they have six granddaughters <laughs> so they they definitely have their full of, of of pink uh being grandparents but 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 we're 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 excited to bring a boy into the mix so Looking forward to that. I'll bring some, uh, again, an update on Eco Ask Why out there for the listeners that, that want to know in the future here. And for me personally, I just found my passion. I'm very thankful that Eco has given me the opportunity to be the host uh, of Eco Ask Why because I just found my passion behind the mic representing this wonderful company that has, has blessed me, has taken care of my family and our needs for so many years through the, the, the mountaintops and the valleys. Eco has been there. And they, they are a company that really stands on virtues and, and, and what's important and morals. And, and it's not just putting it on paper. It's walking it out. I'm very thankful for that. So, again, if you want to, to, to learn more about Eco, maybe how you, you could be a part of this team, connect with us. That's what it's all about. So one thing I want to, to, to remind the listeners out there. If you're listening to Eco SY, most likely you're in manufacturing. 
And my one of the points I want to make here on this Thanksgiving episode is, look, this is not dark, dirty, and dangerous work anymore. It's not. We need more businesses out there making goods in the U.S. And that happens one factory at a time. And we should always celebrate when these businesses open and get out there and advocate for them. Right. The factories these days, they are not your grandparents factories. <laughs> they're just not. They have really evolved. They're connected. They're clean. They're cutting edge. And they're full of technology. And we need to embrace that. It's so much out there. We need to be educating the, the next generation. So if you find yourself at a Thanksgiving table table this week with some younger generation around. Talk to them about technology. Talk to them about the industrial manufacturing. What's changed? Why you're excited about it? Because if you get excited and you show that and you share it, oh, it just transfers and it's absolutely beautiful. So again, wherever you find yourself, whatever table this week, we're all probably going to sit down. We're going to eat too much. That's just part of Thanksgiving. I'm going to go ahead and it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. Take some time to reflect on what your personal why is. You know, for every episode, I always end with the why. And I always challenge the listeners, the, the guests rather, what is their personal why? So I want you to think about what your personal why is. Have you really sat down and thought about that? And then share it. Share it with those that, want, that, that, that are around you at Thanksgiving this year. Let them know. Be proud of, of what you do, the work you do, where you work, the types, of, the, the types of relationships you have, the impact you make on others, the products you create. Be proud of it. You are a hero. And I hope you hold your head high because the work you do matters. At Eco, we're here we're all about serving others. That's what we're about. We're serving others and trying to just to help them be the best version of themselves that they can possibly be. And that's why people and ideas over products wins day in and day out. And that will, that will remain our focus. Everyone, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you from, from the entire Electrical Equipment Company family. We want to say happy Thanksgiving to you all. Hopefully, you don't eat too much turkey. It's okay. It's, if you do, that's all right. Maybe do a, go for a walk afterwards. Wear those stretchy turkey pants uh, so that you can, can fit that, that there's extra in. And remember, there's always room for pie. So never let anyone fool you. There's always room for pie. So there you go. So again, if you enjoyed the show, if you enjoyed this episode, I just encourage you to share it with someone. Give us a rating and review. That makes all the difference in the world. Seriously, just that five-star rating. A one or two-sentence review, I read them. Adam reads them. Our team reads them. And they just, they're so uplifting just to hear the encouraging words from others. So, uh, again, hopefully you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Enjoy time with your, with your, with your, with your loved ones, with whoever's, whatever table you find yourself at. I just hope there's blessing upon blessing for you and yours. We'll see you next week here on Eco Ask Why. And remember to keep asking why. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit EcoSY.com. That's E-E-C-O-A-S-K-S-W-H-Y.com. 